This program is brought to you by Emory University. I have been uh, at Emory University now 21 years. I came in 1991 as a professor and uh, wanted to build up the whole discipline of marketing here. I have been teaching, however, for 48 years. I started teaching in 1963, starting at Columbia University. I went to MIT, University of Illinois, University of Southern California, and I've been here since 1991. I have organized the course to be very flexible in terms of its content. So every year when I teach the class, content changes. There are readings that are more updated. If there are cases, more updated. I invite some senior executives to come and talk about the real world. They are more updated. But the areas I focus are the following. The three key areas that impacts markets in general and customers in particular are demographics. And we have a massive change in demographics. Not only just aging of the population and a very large increase of the ethnic population in this country, uh, but also, in fact, changing lifestyles. How does that impact the shopping behavior of the customers, the consumption behavior in the marketplace? So we have one, that whole area that we focus on. Second one is globalization. Competition is more and more global, not domestic anymore. So we begin to focus on emerging competitors, especially from emerging economies such as China and India but some from Brazil, some from uh, Indonesia, some from Russia, any country. So we begin to understand how emerging multinationals from emerging economies are able to successfully compete across industries. Second major focus area. A third major focus area has to do, in fact, with um, uh, technology. I don't emphasize as much because there are other classes but this whole digital technology revolution that's taking place. We have digital media, we have social media, so we talk about those forces that are driving uh, the market behavior and therefore marketing in, in the process. The second half of the course really deals with uh, more about mature products and mature brands and how do you revitalize that. New product introduction is so expensive. New brand launch today in uh, packaged goods companies would be $100 million annual cost. Only technology companies can afford any money like that. So given that, we say best strategy is to revitalize mature brands. And how do you do that thing? So we have a sort of a lot of modules organized around that. And how do you win back your market that you are losing otherwise, right? And the second part is about the four A's of marketing. That's a new framework. It says from a customer perspective, how do we look upon what we make as offerings in the marketplace? Are products acceptable, affordable, accessible, and what is the awareness, the level of knowledge about the products that the consumers and the customers have? That framework has become very powerful. Each uh, dimension, like acceptability, has two dimensions a functional acceptability and a psychological acceptability. Affordability also has two dimensions, willingness to pay and ability to pay. Similarly, accessibility has two dimensions, convenience versus just availability, locations, places where you can get the product. Awareness has two dimensions, uh, brand awareness and product awareness. And what we find again and again, and we have like 600 case studies have been done by the students in the past. It's a very exciting pro project about why new products fail or they succeed and what's the market potential. So in each one of those cases we find marketing tends to overemphasize one dimension but not the other dimension. So we suggest how marketing can improve itself from a managerial perspective uh, so that they are very much customer centric essentially.